and there are just a few easy steps to doing this. First, I change directories to Python 34. Next, I change directories to scripts. Now, I tell pip to install py2exe. Now, I've already installed mine. I'm going to do it again. It goes out and gets it for you, if you don't have it, and installs it. My py2exe is already installed, and it's in this location here. Again, this was step one. Next, I go to my F drive, and in my logarithm directory, I make another subdirectory. I call it spe2. Currently, it's empty. I copy my latest calculator program into here. I called it calculator 5 p2.py. This is my calculator code. This will be converted into an executable. Next, I create a .py file. In it, I will have three commands. From distutils.core import setup. Line number two will say import py2exe. No dots in here. py2exe, one word. And then setup parens console equals squares the name of my calculator program in single quotes. ctor 5p 2.py single quote squares parens and that's it. Now I have to save this into spe2 that same directory which I did just a moment ago. I'm going to call it setup.py I'm saving it again there and I click on save Yes, replace it. Now I have my source code and my setup.py code. Now let's compile this program. I go to my F drive. I change directory to logarithm. Next, I change directories to spe2. This is where my two files are. I do a dir just to be certain. And there they are. Ctor 5p2.py and setup.py. We're now ready to go. I key in Python, setup.py, and then py2exe. And that's it. And now I hit enter. And there we go. I clear off the screen to a dir. And lo and behold, I have a directory over here called DIST. Change directories to DIST. I hit enter. I want to do a DIR of everything that starts with CTOR star.exe. And bada bing, there is our executable CTOR5P2.exe. We can see it even more clearly in the Windows GUI. I click on the DIST folder, and there he is right here. I can run it from here, or from here. Either way. Let's first run it from here, just for fun. ctor5p2.exe. And I hit enter. Oh, and up comes my calculator. Unbelievable. There it is. Me calculator. 9 times 9 equals 81. Well, you know, clear. 95 times 95 should equal 9025. 9025 it is. Wow. Let's see if it uh, works with hundreds. 104 times 103. That should give me... 10712. And it does. I could also run the program from here. ctor5p2.exe. Double click on it. And there it is. 
Wanted to make a shortcut out of this. All right, right click on this, drag it over to here, and create shortcut. And bingo. Double click it. And there she is. Hmm. One, oh, three times one, oh, nine. What should this give us? Three and nine is twelve, so that's one twelve. Then three times nine is twenty seven, so one twelve twenty seven equals there it is, one twelve twenty seven. That works fine. This is George Bull. Share, like, and good luck.